What the flip is up, tubers? What a whirlwind in the YouTube community. Holy shit. I don't know what to do with myself. Every time I log on to YouTube, I'm so overwhelmed. I log on to Twitter, I am so overwhelmed. Instagram is kind of a safe spot. If you live under a rock, good. A lot of drama from the YouTube community. I am part of the YouTube community and I contributed to that drama by posting a tweet of me throwing a makeup palette in the toilet. I kind of just jumped on the bandwagon of people making memes about the situation. I don't watch his videos really. I just really liked the palette. Beautiful colors. And so I made like a silly little meme. Didn't expect it to go viral, but it did. People were just dragging me. It was just a lot. I can't handle that type of clout and I'm admitting it. I literally just posted that because so many people were dragging him A lot of people thought it was funny, but I'm just like not that type of bitch to stir stuff up So I deleted it. I deleted the tweet because I'm like, oh my god. I don't want to be involved I just don't care. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm editing. I'm glad that people who have been following him and watching his videos Finally have an understanding that he's kind of a shady person. I also care about mental health too and although it was shitty of James to do all of these freaking things to people but at the end of the day like this is like universal hate on a person so that's like a lot of dark energy going towards him right now and just hope he gets help he goes to like an island somewhere with no cell service i just hope that he gets help this will really take a toll on your mental health yeah that's all i gotta say about it though i was not expecting it to get that crazy anyway so because of that i'm just gonna make a chill video of me getting ready for bed and if this is your first time clicking on my channel or any of my videos, you probably will hate this. I'm just gonna be talking to my girlies, my tubers. So if you don't feel connected to me yet, maybe watch my other videos first. I don't know. Also, one other thing, I'm back on Cameo. So if you want a personalized message from me, I link to my Cameos in the description. Let's go. My head is all over the place. So, okay, I'll kind of just like start talking about my birthday. Okay. My birthday was lit this year. I don't know if I've told you guys about my 21st birthday last year, but it was trash. It was trash last year because Ashlyn moved back home and I was out here in LA by myself. I didn't know how to make my own friends. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like a very anxious girly also. I didn't even know like how to get started. I was thinking about moving back home in March and then I met Ryan in March and we became besties really quick. He kind of just like scooped me up under his wing and invited me into his friend group. My birthday was in May and it was gonna be my 21st raging birthday party. And I kind of felt the pressure. I was like, oh shit. I gotta do something wild. Also, I don't have makeup wipes. I'm gonna have to use face lotion. It's gonna be uncomfortable for you probably because it's gonna take forever. All right, anyway, I really wanted to go to Vegas for my birthday. I'm not that type of tuber to email brands and like be like, hey, um, I have this many subscribers. Can you let me stay here for free? So I just have never done that, but I was like, I'm desperate. It's my 21st birthday and I need to go to Vegas and I need a freaking penthouse suite for all my friends in Vegas. I don't know what happened, but my camera setting changed the next clips that you're gonna see the settings are different So the video is kind of cropped. So just like bear with me. You'll get used to it. It's not that bad I emailed a bunch of hotels in Vegas while I was emailing them I was cringing because I'm like hi, my name is Sarah Baskin. I am a social media influencer with this many Ew, but I'm like can I please get a penthouse suite for my birthday and everyone said no literally everyone i'm just like never again never again so anyway i couldn't go to vegas i didn't care that much because i was like that's such a privileged thing for me to be sad about you know like oh i couldn't get a free trip to vegas chill the f out the night before my 21st birthday i'm like texting all my friends i'm like hey guys it's like the friend group that i'm kind of in but they don't really like know me yet i'm just really good friends with ryan so i text them i'm like hey guys <laughs> and i'm like trying not to be annoying <laughs> Not to be annoying or anything, but it's like my birthday. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow. What are you guys doing? Like, anybody wanna, you know, maybe hang out with me? <laughs> Either people didn't respond or they were busy. Ryan had school all day and then he had work at nighttime. And I was like, yeah, no problem, no problem. Yeah, that's okay, we can like celebrate this weekend or something. 
but inside I was like shit 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 literally what am I gonna do for my birthday like I don't have any other friends out here I'm awkward as f Will was gonna fly out on my birthday, but the only flight he could get was the one after his class. And so we had to fly out at like 10.30 at night. So anyway, I wake up for my 21st birthday. I'm like, what do I do? So I like made myself some breakfast awkwardly. I'm like trying to celebrate myself. I'm like texting everyone back that texted me happy birthday. I'm like watching some YouTube. And then I realized I was like, I'm 21. I'm gonna go buy some CBD oil because <laughs> my anxiety is really bad lately. So I go to a dispensary. I walk into the dispensary and I feel all cool because I can get in because I'm 21. I'm talking to the guys at the dispensary and they were telling me that they were from Oregon and I was like, okay cool and there was a couch in this dispensary and it was really slow at that hour and so me and these two dudes just sat in their dispensary and just chatted for like two and a half hours and there was a tv playing music videos and shit so i was like this is kind of where i want to spend my birthday right now and they like hooked it up and they gave me the cbd stuff for free because it was my birthday and i was like damn today isn't too terrible and i just kind of like drove around once i was running low on gas I was like, I should go home. And then I was like, I don't want to go home because then I'll get in my head and I'll realize that I'm alone on my 21st birthday. But I was like, no, 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 I'll just go home and I'll respond to texts and Instagram posts about me and shit. Like, <laughs> So then I just go home, then I just started breaking down, and I was just like sobbing. I was literally like laying in a fetal position, being like, I don't wanna make friends with my anxiety so bad. Um, then Will flew into town at 11.30. We hung out, we like took shots together, and then I sobbed in his arms. It was sad, it was just a sad, birthday. I felt really bad for myself. Got over it because I was like birthdays I put so much damn pressure on myself to like have the best day ever. When my 22nd birthday came around which was May 7th it was last week I felt that pressure again and I was like shit like I need to have the best day ever. But this time I have friends. The reason why I have friends now is because I went to Coachella with these people and I was forced to camp with them. So the night before my birthday this year I text the group chat still kind of being like hey guys and it's like my birthday who can go to lunch you know what I'm saying a lot of them said that they could and I was like okay cool so <laughs> me and Christelle wake up and we go to El Tejano it's this dank ass Mexican place the margaritas are dank and they're so big it's like outside and there's TVs everywhere and they're like blasting music videos and shit I walked into El Tejano and they were playing Mac Miller and God was just like and I was like totally Mac Miller is playing and all my friends are like and I'm getting so emotional. I'm like, <laughs> don't cry. They literally just said happy birthday and I'm like <gasps> I had some great tacos, some great margaritas. We got pretty turned. Christelle was hungover as shit. She had to go yak in the bathroom for a solid 10 minutes. She's the yacker of my friend group. She's the one that yacked to Blackpink during Coachella too. They were playing One Direction and that was triggering me. And then the thing that really freaking triggered me and made me literally almost Cry. Was the fact that El Tejano played Dive In by Trey Songz. What? Why? Why would you? That's such a sexual song. Splash! Swimming all in your waterfall. It's like it's literally about intercourse, but in like the most nitty gritty way. I'm about to dive in. You just don't play that shit at like restaurants. God was literally just being like, this is exactly where you need to be with like these people. This was like the first time in so long where I didn't feel the pressure to have an amazing birthday because I already was in that moment. You know what I mean? After El Tejano, me and Christelle, we go back to my apartment and then I was like, okay, dude, for my birthday, I just want to sit down and read my birthday messages and she was like totally can I bake you a cake in the kitchen? I see you have cake mix and I was like Sure, and she was like I have my certificate in cake decorating and I was like no you don't She was like yeah, I literally went to school for it. Can I make you a cake? I'm like yes, you great friend 
I was just like emotionally texting people back. She's making me the cake. After that, I'm taking this class and it's every Tuesday. And I was actually really excited to spend my birthday in this class because I, for the last few years, I've been craving community. The YouTube community is great, but it also just doesn't feel like a community that all has good intentions. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was craving like face to face community in the flesh. So I joined a songwriting class and this class is changing my freaking life. Um, truly, like it really is. I'm making such great friends in that class and my teacher is adorable. He's like the sweetest man my heart clenches. When I think about him, he's just been so helpful. So I get there. Okay, I got my face wet and I didn't want to take you guys to my bathroom because it is atrocious. <laughs> Like, actually disgusting in there. And I know you guys wouldn't judge me, but my mom is watching and I know she would judge me, so. I just don't want Barb to have a panic attack. I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna clean it. This is um, African Black Soap Clarifying Facial Wash and Scrub from Shea Moisture. I really, really love this stuff. Whew. Okay, so anyway. So yeah, then everyone sang me happy birthday and everyone was just being so nice. And the class was so fun because I just feel like I'm in Glee. You know what I'm saying? That's what the vibe is. If you guys have seen Glee, that's what this class feels like to me. We're all there just to learn the same thing and we're all being vulnerable. That class specifically Specifically, we were studying and breaking down music. We were breaking down Michael Jackson, his song, Billie Jean. You know the bass line? It's like boom, 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 boom. And then boom, 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 boom. So the teacher made all the guys do the bass line, and then he made the girls do the boom, boom. And then my teacher sing She was full like a beauty queen with her own scene. I felt like I was in glee and my heart was soaring. I was like, wow, this is my vibe. This is the community where I need to be at. It was a great class. I literally went home and I watched glee. <laughs> so my actual birthday was so great. Hold on, I'm gonna wash this off my face. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this step because I need to like focus during this part, um, but I still have more to the story. <laughs> So what I used to do for my pores was just use those nose pore strip things. But then Vanity Planet sent me this and it comes with a little charger station and a few other heads that you can put on. It's called the Exfora and it's a microdermabrasion. A microdermabrasion. So basically once it's all charged, it has like a little screen and there's a timer on here too, a one minute timer. There's a one minute timer for each area of your face. So one minute's on each spot. And then you're just gonna push start. It's like a suction thing. You just want to glide it like a vacuum. It's a crazy sensation. I'm clogging all those pores and depending on what level that you do, oops, it's going to be that intense. This also can lighten the appearance of hyperpigmentation and acne scars. It also promotes your collagen production, which means that you will have less fine lines and wrinkles. I like using it on my nose the most because I know this is where all my gunk is held. Once the makeup comes off and I look in the magnifying part, it's especially you can see all the pores all the gunk so I know that this is really helping with that oh my god ew It's good for all skin types. And this also enhances the absorption to your skincare products to 50%. So your other products can benefit you too. So if you guys want one of these, um, I have a discount code that you can use in the description for 50% off. Just use my code SXDERM and get one of these babies. <laughs> Awesome. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tone my face and I use this facial toner with witch hazel and aloe vera Yeah, you can get this at Ulta. I just get a little cotton ball put that shit on there Um, but yeah, anyways, so it was a dope ass day Also all of you guys you guys had the sweetest birthday messages. I was crying So thank you guys so much for that And I bet it's been so trippy for you to see me grow up if you guys have been following me since Vine and shit, or even just like my early YouTube days. If any of the MagCon people asked you out, what would you say? Cameron and Taylor Caniff can get it, but anyone else, no thanks. 
But then everyone had to work the next day so we couldn't go out. But on Thursday, my friend Joe was like, yo, we're gonna pregame at my place and we're gonna go out to the bars. And I was like, totally. And so I get to Joe's house for the pregame and I walk in, the whole apartment is decked out in happy birthday gear. Just decked out in decorations. Like they spent so much time and energy. I walk in, I see all this, I'm like, really y'all? You really are trying to make me cry? And then to top it all off, they bring out a cake. They light that shit and they're singing happy birthday to me. It's just like too much love. I was just feeling so much love. I'm like, I can't, I can't handle it. The next thing that I do is I take this stuff. I think I got this at Sephora. This was expensive. And I just remember the cashier being like, a little goes a long way. So I just get like a little dab. I go under my eyes. And the next thing that I do is I take my marula oil. Marshall's has a dank natural skincare section. And this stuff is really good for your skin. But then I just plop it. But anyway, um, we go out for my birthday. Hey guys, I'm drunk as shit. <laughs> Cause it's my birthday! Hey sweetie. We're taking the metro. Hi, good morning. What are your girlies uh, called? The tubers. tubers. Y'all need to purchase a tap card. Baby, I don't know how to make a tap card though. I'll teach you baby. Just a bunch of drunk bitches trying to work though. Can you take a picture yeah. of me? And since it's my birthday, people are handing me shots left and right. Like my friends are like buying me drinks, buying me shots. I want you guys to know that this was a few days after the Met Gala and I still wasn't over Harry Styles' outfit. It didn't help that that day I went on YouTube. Liza Koshy, I would consider her a friend. Me and her just have this kind of like mental connection where we both know that we're like but we're just both so busy doing our own thing. But like every time I see her, she's so sweet. Anyway, I see that she was invited to the Met Gala again for the second year, which is crazy. I saw her interview with Harry. Okay, we got Harry Styles coming up. Oh my god. Oh god, he looks so good. How would you define him? Who's Harry Styles' style icon? Uh. Liza is talking to him and looking him in the eyes. It was too much. I couldn't handle it. I had to rewatch it three times because I kept blacking out while watching it and like blanking out because Liza is a homie. And then I see Harry making eye contact. Just, it was too much. It was too much. <laughs> um, I kept putting myself in her situation. That made it even worse. That's why I kept blacking out and then I would have to keep rewatching it. I'm like, what would I say back? says this like how would I respond if I was interviewing him you know what I mean like too much too much where I'm going with this is I was out at the club and I was really drunk and when you're really drunk you say some shit and you think about some shit okay Christelle also a hairy stan so us together drunk is not cute I break down like my cute makeup from earlier gone there was no point to it that was the first club we went to, too. I was literally in the bathroom with her having a mental breakdown about Liza Koshy's interview with him, and I'm showing her the interview. The security guard was concerned, and he was pounding on the door, and so Christelle opens the door, and the security guard sees me just like this, and he thought that I was, like, in trouble, like I was having a heart attack or just in, in pain or something. And the security guard told us that we need to get out of here. And Christelle had to look this security dead in the face and be like, No, sir, you don't understand. She does this all the time. She's watching a Harry Styles video. This man didn't believe her. This man is like, no, she is not. And then Christelle goes, Sarah, show him what you're watching. And I, with makeup coming down my face, take my phone, turn around and go, <laughs> Lo and behold, I was watching the interview. And then the security guard just goes, Oh my God. Okay. Ha 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 ha. This bitch is crazy. 
and like walks away. But I needed to get that out because I didn't cry about it yet. You know what I mean? And it was fresh. And then I just had a great night for the rest of the night. Then I boogied on down. No tears left to cry. I haven't cried about them since. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pawns cream. Dad. Yeah, so this was my nighttime routine or just like my skincare routine for the nighttime. I just wanted to tell you guys about my birthday for the ones that really do care about me as a person. You know what I mean? Just like this last birthday compared to my 21st. It's just so good. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I've got merch in the description. I'm on Cameo now. Yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Bye.